sure he has an answer somewhere. I don't even have two green, so like I have a whole bunch of dead or a white. Like <laughs> just so many things I don't have. He should play something white. Yeah, I can still draw some flyers. Boy of Warfare is not going to do it. Resounding Roar is not going to do it. To be fair, this triggers if he casts a spell on my turn, too. Yeah. <laughs> That's a gigantic scissor, like. <laughs> that thing's gigantic. And he's got three cards in hand and some mana and stuff, so. And I'm at six. Second main phase. Hissing Iguana? Aww. Man. That's not good. Uh, so I can't swing with anything. And so I guess I just put... So close. I have out still. Still have outs, technically. Oh, not really. You should swing with both. He should swing with both. Okay, I guess he doesn't want to win this turn. Basically win. I'll block with the Mountaineer. Because that way if I draw like a Branching Bolt... Oh, that's a good point. Too late. Because I'm an idiot, that's why. Forgot it had pro white. <laughs> Gifts? Uh, that's not good. What, oh, Kaleidostone? I guess draw a card too. Yeah. Definitely should have blocked with the pro white guy. Uh, you should miss. Should have missed several times over now. No, oh. he missed on it. So wait. Uh, maybe, maybe maybe I was clicking it too fast. Uh, he's got court actions too, so I lose. And I'm really destroying too many lands. Uh, maybe I should slide up some lands next time. It's fun, though. This is a lot funner than like any of the random drafts I've done. Like I don't know if you I don't know if you watched like the the draft I did where it was like uh, uh, roll the die, choose a card that's that color. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> the one I haven't posted yet is uh, roll the die uh, a d twenty seven. And then alphabet draft. And 27 is just I get to choose what I want. <laughs> Those two didn't turn out too well. Ah, well. Alright, and, uh, so, whatever, I'm gonna stop this now. Oh, 
Man, I'll keep it. I was very disappointed with the last boss, too. Like, the uh, the, the, the storyline last boss. Because he was, he was vulnerable to all status effects, and if you had leveled up, you wouldn't hit kill him. Like, I literally just, like, yes. No, I was basically completely leveled up, like... He he only he is he has nine like he has the one thousand one hundred thousand minus one health lost. and he's vulnerable to all status effects. Like literally, I tried to hit him with all status effects, like before I killed him just for fun, but I accidentally counterattacked him and killed him. Like <laughs> yeah. Did he? I don't know. Really? In 10? The, the, the little dude? The little dude at the very end. Just like a... Okay. No, it's definitely a little dude. No? 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 It's definitely just like a little parasite dude inside that giant dream thing. We're arguing about Final Fantasy Tax for people that are wondering what's going on here. Or maybe I never beat the game, but... <laughs> but that's not the last boss. No? No, it can't be! Look. I'm sure there's a fight right after that, and nobody just mentions it, because like I said, it was so inconsequential. I am positive that's not the last one. That's probably the last real fight you have to do. Because like I said, like... Wikipedia is worth any money, it will definitely, I don't know, it's like... Like, that, 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 that's probably the, I, I don't actually remember, I, that's probably the last real loss. I was so leveled up by then, it just really didn't matter. It's like I said, I did the Cactor thing, and definitely a whole bunch of people complain, like, there was a whole bunch of internet arguments between idiots, like, that's not right, you shouldn't do that, that's cheating. What you really should do is go to this one area and, like, tape your, uh, like, controller in one direction and just leave that on, because that's the real way to grind it out. I'm just like, they're, they're functionally equivalent, don't be a douchebag. I don't know if I've actually beat that, because it was too slow. I beat, I beat, I beat the, like, spin-offs of it that were for, like, uh, the DS, like, uh, Mario and Luigi Partners in Time and stuff like that. They're just spin-offs of Mario RPG, because they were a little bit faster and more interesting. Just because it was like, Mario RPG is just like, clug, clug, clug. You got into a battle. Clug, clug, clug. <laughs> you have to jump now, and just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what the hell is this guy doing in the loser bracket? Death Raiders and Death Threnics? <laughs> Jerk. I'm gonna pause it while I go look at his replays. Alright, I'm back. I have no idea how we lost. His deck seems like a really solid Jun deck. Okay, I know he lost the round I watched. <laughs> his opponent had Behemoth Sledge on, I think, a flyer. <laughs> 